Busy day. In studio, Otto from Otto and George and Bob Levy. We made these guys wait a long time, yeah. and I apologize, but that That's Ian Halford shit was too good to pass up. I heard the screaming in the hallway. I yeah. loved it. Yeah, you liked it? He's a, he's a lunatic. People fucking hate him, and that's why we have him on the show, I think. <laughs> hate who? Huh? Hate who? It's this guy, Ian. Ian oh. Halpert. He does, like, gossip shit, and he's very entertaining. He really is. Yeah, so, as, I, as I was riding it, on the uh, Jersey Transit today with the smell of urine and disappointment on the train, <laughs> looking forward to my trek up here, getting here just in time to mop up and take the fucking garbage out. <laughs> <laughs> fucking Dr. Zhivago trekking up 6th Avenue here. It's good to be here. First thing he says to me, yeah. you got anything in March? Yeah. It's wide open. <laughs> Dr. Zhivago. Yeah, me and Levy drinking coffee right now. There's a Coke deal looking to get a paper route somewhere. <laughs> Save once we, we used to do so much blow together after the shows. Like we we do pips, and uh, he goes, "You did. This is how you know you made it when you do pips." And we leave with two hundred bucks each, yeah. and we go and get blow. And I go, "Okay, let's do it." And he goes, "Wait, I got to bring George home first. <laughs> I'm like, "You got to bring the fucking puppet home. We can't just do blow." He wraps him up like he's gonna fucking put a bull in his head with a towel over his head. Oh, that we, towel on the head yeah. was so creepy. Uh, it was. Really? He wrap it up with yeah. a towel. Why did you have to wrap up George's head? You know, because I carried him in a duffel bag at that point. Yes. I didn't have it. Nice the case. That's yeah. how Kennedy looked when they fucking shipped him to Bethesda. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wow. Uh, no more blow for you guys, huh? No. Uh, uh. Not today. No. <laughs> I'm not going to be a pussy like him and quit altogether. Yeah. I mean, there's opportunity sometimes. Uh, you know, Bob man. always starts to justify his drug use. He'll so like, you know what, dude? I just don't do coke before 8 a.m. I'm okay. <laughs> <laughs> if I could just do it like on the summer solstice. <laughs> If, I'm, one of those guys, if yeah. I'm tired and I'm on the road yeah. and fan gives it to me, yeah. I'm like, you know, you don't turn down a fan. Or, <laughs> or if you solicit it from the audience every eight well, seconds. Uh, I'm, like, yeah. I'm like, so I was uh, driving on uh, up yeah. to the club. And he's got blow. blow there. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> and I just hand it to you. It's nice. Yeah. I wouldn't trust that, though. How do you know it's not fucking strychnine? I'm still fucking alive. Yeah. <laughs> I'll take a chance. When it's strychnine, I'll take a chance. <laughs> well, who cares? But if you say that, that's like a logical argument, but like someone who's really doing drugs will just justify it. Well, how do you know the waiter's not poisoning you? All right. <laughs> yeah. Good point. You know, you eat <laughs> food out of a restaurant. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, good point. What the hell, right? You get pissed on by hookers, and you're telling me about my fucking habits. I'm not saying you're wrong. <laughs> <laughs> what? Where are they supposed to go? On the floor? <laughs> if you saw it went on in most kitchens, you would never eat out in a restaurant nah, again nah. in your life. I remember there was this Greek diner, and the guy used to make the coleslaw by um, taking a garbage can, you know, not that had garbage in it, but like right from Home Depot, mm -hmm. and you put all the cut cabbage and a mayo in there, and then he would mix it with his filthy Greek arms and shoulders. <laughs> with all the hair like, on all the, way, all the way up to his armpits. With sweat, fucking disgusting oh. Greek armpit hairs going That's in That's how it gets yeah. moist. That, think uh, about that it. the next time you see that little fucking eye cup of coleslaw they give you. I hate it's coleslaw. Yeah. It's disgusting. Thank God, I don't I like coleslaw. Really? You don't like that's it? Fucking, oh. It's an atrocious side dish. It's it disgusting, is. right? No. <laughs> yeah. It's like they just have to give you something else. What about rice pudding? Nasty. Rice. I'll, I'll oh, eat rice no, pudding. No, no, no. That, yeah. that looks wow. like a three-day load. I, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. I like when the waiter throws it on my back and face. Do <laughs> <laughs> it all on my chin, yeah. and I'll be on my way. Could you force my face into the pudding? <laughs> <laughs> I'll enjoy it. You can't like uh, rice pudding, Otto, can you? No, I hate all right, good, fucking, right. And I hate it's midgets. horrendous. <laughs> midgets when I see a midget pudding. eating rice pudding. <laughs> I, I kicked a midget against a wall at a show. You remember that? That with Florentine, when we did. Oh, a show when you in said, Staten "How Island. tall aren't you?" Yeah, and then the <laughs> and, other line. And, yeah, I was I was on him all fucking show, and he was, was probably right. about the four or ten. And he wanted. He comes out of the show, and he goes, "How about I punch you in the face?" And, and I said, like, "Go ahead." And he threw a punch, and I just moved my head a little bit. And he goes, "I should get some money." And he threw another punch, and I just side kicked him no, into the, the best, wall. The, the and they threw line, me out of the club. The best line he goes, "What do you do during the day other than avoid mouse traps?" <laughs> 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 he was so was fucking killing. mad. But what, what are you going to do? Well, what did you pay if you had to walk around like that? Hey, that's, he shouldn't yeah. sit up front. Fuck him. <laughs> that's true, he got, too. He, got he, he couldn't see if he didn't. <laughs> <laughs> Poor little guy. Size of boss. Bob, he fucking lead his sidekick to midget, and he's talking about like he was in Game of Death. <laughs> <laughs> so beware, midgets out there. Oh. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Damn it. Uh, <laughs> hey, you got a text message from uh, an old friend? Jeff, you guys were telling uh, me about it? Yeah. Uh, 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 Really? Because I, I came in to plug a, a uh, job 
that he's like friends with the owner. So I, I tell him to tell the owner that I'm going to be on O and A today. Right. Uh, just to let him know there's a good plug. So uh, it's like Otto's hours. using a typewriter. Look, he doesn't even know how to fucking use this thing. Look at him. I'm primitive, man. Yes. <laughs> you tell O and A that Norris appreciates being blown off and treated like I don't exist after all I did for them fucking jerk offs. <laughs> Holy what are you shit! About? What? What is that? That's true anger in there. So the last wow. time we saw Jeff what Norris, you? we just got back to satellite, and he came in to say hi because uh -huh. you know we we went away for a couple of years. Came in and he was having such a bad appearance that he actually said live on our show. Well, I'm just here to say hi. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Did he? I and didn't that was the that. last time. And we didn't trash him or nothing. Right. And that was the last time we saw him. All the great things. What like bruising my windpipe right before I went on vacation? <laughs> really? Did he? Demonstrating what he did to somebody? Did he really? He just thought oh. we were down at Caroline's. Oh. And he's like, yeah, this guy comes up to me and uh, and he gives and starts giving me shit. So I just you know took the crook of my hand right between the thumb and uh, pointer finger and just went. Bam! And he hit yeah, me in yeah. the throat. I went like, Pah! oh, get out of here! I, I like go, I go down on one knee. I'm like, what the fuck are you doing? That's your goes, bread oh, and I butter. Didn't, I didn't uh, know, you know. Uh, he doesn't, doesn't know, know his own the, strength. He's like yeah. Kong. Yeah. Yeah. He's like yeah. Kong. Yeah. Yeah. Don't worry, that's high tensile steel, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Otto came up with big white gorilla. Yeah, for that reason. Can yeah. we get him on the phone. Let's let's hash this out. Baby gorilla, I got his number. Yeah. Fucking let's hash this out. I want to see what his problem. I seen him in the summer last summer. I was at a diner and he walked in. And I think yeah. he's doing like construction now or something like that. Oh yeah, so yeah. he's not doing gigs anymore. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, he works all the time. Hey, Chris. Hi, hi, <laughs> uh, Chris and PA. Hi thanks. There. Uh, thanks. Now I'm officially done with coleslaw because of Otto. Yeah. Oh, that is a yeah, great, I'm telling you. great visual of some big hairy Greek <laughs> yeah. armpit with his armpits. <laughs> fucking Vic <laughs> Tabak. <laughs> yeah. Oh God, I'll damn. never forget that. That's the Mixing it with his arms all the way up to his shoulders. It very his good. Was you may, uh, you yeah. want the coleslaw? What do you uh, peas, I, peas and carrots? I you gotta you, get man. down to the bottom. I, yes, mix it good. <laughs> I fuck your mother in the ass already. I, <laughs> I fuck your mother in the ass already. This is how we make it a Greek. Yeah. This is how Greek make it. Yeah. <laughs> and then fuck the ass. <laughs> Braggly cauliflower and kill you. <laughs> All right, little Nassus, you fuck. Get your armpits out of my food. Exactly. <laughs> Big savage forearms. <laughs> Disgusting, I know. And who orders, like, fish? At a diner, this uh, night, yeah, it, 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 cow fresh burgers that and shit. eggs. My wife's from it's Cleveland. Like, yeah, she, eggs, she goes, "Well, you gonna get a steak when you go to the diner with your son?" I go, "Who gets a fucking steak at a diner?" She goes, "I never went to a diner." Oh. I go, "What are you? How no, have you no. never been to? We don't have diners you in Cleveland." Diner. I go, where, where, "Where is this fucking place, Cleveland, that has no fucking diners?" Diners, yeah. breakfast are, are really a New York thing. And, you and, get outside New York, you don't see a lot of. Di well, you guys know well, you travel. I'm always Jersey's at a fucking diner. Yeah, you're right. New Jersey, Jersey has them. Denny's is what they have. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. But it's like yeah, I can understand diner. eggs, you know, yeah. some bacon, whatever the fuck, yeah. breakfast, and then. But then they got these things like, what am I going to get? Halibut? <laughs> I'm gonna get fucking they, you know the swordfish. Oh, they, this is this is delicious. Yeah, I know. You this if they have year. a lot of seniors <laughs> that eat there, then you might have a chance of not getting fucking poisoned. Well, oh, yeah. What, what do they like the fish? The yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they, well, they don't want to die, so they. Eat and a then lot you of fish. always get the cut whenever the old fucks are sitting there. <laughs> you always get the uh, the hospital or medical conversation oh, starts. Oh yeah. Right in the table next to you. Yeah. Yeah. Did you hear? Oh yes, it was <laughs> horrible. They had to cut out his gallbladder, oh, yeah. and then they found <laughs> the cancer. Yeah, and, it was, and I'm like trying to fucking eat, and they're talking yeah. about fungus and yeah. cake, and it all never once have I gone into a diner where some old fucking bags weren't sitting next to me or behind yeah. me, where they didn't start talking about their I fucking know. failing bodies. The bone marrow is dripping out of my ankle yeah. as we speak. I, I got that. Well, they put a drain in because yeah. the pus can't remain in my body. Yeah, and you I gotta finish that coleslaw. Oh, yeah. That's it. Yeah, yeah, the coleslaw. I'm yeah. done, and I couldn't move, and the orderlies were getting on top yeah. of me one yeah. after the other it was like the fat boys movie yeah. <laughs> hey i don't think we're gonna get a jeff norris on the phone today spewed him on the no. eggs what the fuck jeff he's Come not on. calling uh, well, they're, they're trying to call him well, no. what do we got on jeff norris uh, just, just talking the. Uh, yeah, just fuck. get what? Yeah, you are. He does these impersonations. Uh, I swear, you would think it was the real people. Huh? That's right. <laughs> um, he's bringing his father into the hospital right this. Oh, second. Great. Jesus! Really? Uh, what's wrong with his father? He, he didn't want to say, but uh, I gave him the number here, so he'll call in. Was, uh, was, he, well, was he at a can't... diner complaining? Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> we can't rip him apart if he's taking his yeah, father to the hospital. Yeah, really. Jeez.
Uh, they couldn't have ruined the moment any I, worse I than know. That. I know. Uh, maybe he just came up with that. Maybe uh, he doesn't want to fucking do it. Maybe he heard the diner talk and he yeah. figured he'll get out yeah, of it. Yeah, he'll yeah, get yeah. out of it that way. Get out of this shit. <laughs> Jerry uh, Langford, I want your autograph. You should get cancer. <laughs> I hope you get I cancer. Hope you get cancer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, would you say hello to my grandson? Yeah. yeah. What's yeah. his name, Milton? Yeah. He's in the hospital. We He's followed your whole and career. I'm a little busy. I hope you get cancer. You should only get cancer. <laughs> that fucking that was great, right? right? That fucking look Jerry gives her. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Now we got Cleveland people calling. Andy in Cleveland. Andy. And it's a common word of fence. We do have some diners in Cleveland. It's just the, the translation for Ohio is family restaurant. They don't, uh, they don't call them diners. There's uh, three of them near my house. Uh, they that's what Well, they have like a Stuckies or like what are some of the names of these? Oh, God. Stuckies is a... Stuckies was a chain that's been like gone since the uh, mid '80s, but um, <laughs> like you know they got like around Cliff. Uh, Steven has from Bay Thank Shore. you. Uh, I really was gearing up for an so awful yeah. fucking yeah. dissertation. I got a yeah. sock called Stuckos. Yeah. <laughs> we got Jeff Doerr's update. Uh, his what? father is sick with disappointment over his son's career. Oh, oh no, stop. So, uh, stop. <laughs> so we had to rush him to the terrible. hospital. God, he's going to be here for like two months. <laughs> oh, jeez. Uh-oh, here comes another text. Norris, fucking calls tomorrow then if you're listening. Rinky dinky. Oh, sure. Let's oh, hash no, this out. Good. We love Norris. Hey, yeah, I mean, he's a good guy. I'm too broad. I'm too broad. He hasn't. Uh, broad. So he hasn't talked to to us in in years. But but you know it's like he sh he should call up then. Like who we are supposed to reach out? Well, that's what yeah. you reach and out to the show to go on. We haven't seen I told him that. Years? I go. I go. There's the we deliver keggers girl. I go. They're doing a Jesus. show that takes up all their time. You think they're thinking about you? They're busy living their lives. Oh, well, we think about them. Yeah, yeah. We talk about them, just not on the air. Oh, okay. You know? <laughs> <laughs> We're just not going to call them. Yeah, yeah exactly. We're not going to call them or you know have them on the show. Or yeah. Even talk to them probably, but <laughs> the squeaky wheel gets the oil. Love, <laughs> <laughs> love. <laughs> hey, run on. Let's say hi to Footer. Footer? Yo, what's up, boys? Hey, hey um, I just want to say, fucking Levy and fucking Otto, you guys are the fucking best. And it, it's a shame because, like, you guys just come in and you're fucking organically funny. No fucking act, no bullshit. Thanks, and punching out. Thank you. America has <laughs> no fucking idea. <laughs> Thanks, man. I mean, man. like, no offense, but you know what I mean? You guys aren't fucking like these. No like, offense, but you're unknowns. Yeah, what a, that was kind of a backhanded compliment. Yeah, I can't man. believe you two are abject failures. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are great. You put these two failures thought yeah, about outside. Isn't. We're going to go on tour together. Yeah. <laughs> You've never done that before? Uh, we work a couple times together, and it just works out great because we're two vile, disgusting people yeah. on stage, yeah. but yeah. people love us. So. You did that gig a few months ago. I didn't like going on after you. It was too much. Already. Well, whatever. The MC we'll switch said it up. Who in the first 30 seconds. <laughs> oh, By the shit. time I get up there, it's like... Uh, I, I don't say the C word. Say? It's like the... No. Yeah, I, it's... <laughs> I say the C word. I say I prefer, like that. I prefer like a Seinfeld before me. Not that he's going to open. I mean, that uh, brand. Yeah, yeah, you know, Donner over here. Yeah. Cunty, cunt, cunt, cunt. Yeah. Cuntly, yeah. cuntly. Uh, tonight, cunt. Otto and Jerry Seinfeld. Yeah. Live at fucking... No, but you want somebody who's different. I know what you mean. Like, I like to have Amy Schumer because she's really funny, but she's totally different. So you want someone different than you in front of you because yeah. then it's like not two guys doing the same, the same vibe. Why don't yeah. you guys yeah. rotate who goes on first? Yeah, it doesn't yeah. fucking that's, matter. That's you a know? good fucking show, I'm telling it you It is a good show. And he's fucking already whining. We didn't even put it together. Yeah, really? What the fuck? I was watching that blue, that fucking Ron White. I mean, he's a good stand-up, but I was like, his audience is, you know, he's filming it like in Texas, and, 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 his, <laughs> yeah. and his whole routine is about how people in L.A. suck, or, or you know, of course they're gonna fucking, you know, how safe can you yeah, play? Yeah, them goddamn you know? street walking, yeah. concrete walking, shoe wearing <laughs> motherfuckers. Yeah. I understand. We got a book, a book reader. Oh, you, <laughs> you, you, yeah, yeah. you were talking seventh about, grade. <laughs> what? You, wait, you did that talking about uh, Jesse Jackson called New York Jaime Town. Yeah. Fucking Chris Rock had the greatest line in Comedy's Dirtiest Dozen. He goes, when um, Jesse Jackson was running for president, he goes, really confused rednecks they go all my life i wanted to vote for a jew hater turned out to be a nigger <laughs> <laughs> is that great Holy that yeah. goes, is that great yeah that's funny you uh, can't say it. like you guys were arguing before about that i got into a fight with a black guy in the audience because i was busting his balls was he and he goes 
Now, he wasn't a midget <laughs> this time, so and I took him on. <laughs> and I was just busting his balls. And he goes, that's racist. Uh -huh. And I go, don't play that fucking racist card. I go, look, I'm a Jew. I go, what did you do? You picked cotton a few years. I go, we were thrown in fucking ovens. That's a little fucking worse than fucking picking <laughs> cotton, motherfucker. And the audience was on my side, finally, you know? Yeah. You know how they always turn on you? Like, yeah. like oh, my God, the fucking oh, crazy oh, white racist. Yeah. You know what I mean? I'm not, yeah, like Michael Richards. Yeah, I, exactly. I'm not yeah, <laughs> like, Look well, how well, the that, audience turned on well, yeah. he, he didn't know what the fuck he was doing, but I fucking knew what I was doing, and I fucking turned it on. Why did he call you a racist? Because I was busting his balls. Right. So, was he any different than anybody else? In the, I go, what makes you different? I, I go, if you don't want to be different, get a hundred like everyone else on a fireman score to be a fireman, <laughs> all right? Yeah. Do you want to be a policeman? Get a hundred instead of a ninety, you know? And I fucking beat his ass down. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. You know, fuck that shit. I'm not, I'm, I hate this racism shit. I'm Everybody so wants to be the same. Women want fucking equal rights. Fuck you. No, then stop fucking stealing our kids, you yeah. fucking cunts. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I see my kid two hours a fucking week. You know what I mean? Do I got a chance of winning him over? Mm -hmm. He doesn't want to fucking see me anymore. Oh, it's yeah. fucking horse shit. That's a lot of pressure. In two hours, you got to make a good impression. Exactly. You got to make up for all like, the asshole talk she did about yeah. you. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. I'm like, you know what we're going to do today? We're going to go to a baseball game. You're going to meet fucking uh, uh, Howard, Ryan Howard. You know, I'm going to take you to the mall, buy you everything you fucking yeah. want. And then um, you, you can fuck me in the ass and I'm going to bring you home. Yeah. I mean, what can you do in two yeah. hours to win over all the hate that she gave Why? you the whole week? Why only two hours? Because my what lawyer's a fucking you... asshole what and he was a fan of mine. I, I, you know, you ever get a lawyer that's a fan of yours? No. Uh, that's what I did. And he's like, oh my God, look, it's Bob Levy. They're taking pictures with me. Oh. And next thing you know, I'm living in the basement for fucking four years paying $5,000 a yeah. month. Bob, uh, but uh, what, what is the court saying you did? Because <laughs> the two hours a week, that's... Yeah. Nothing. That's what the they, they 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 instead of paying four dollars you more month. time at the com at the fucking cellar. Well, Norris would get more time with my kid <laughs> or on this show. But I'm saying is is that and she kills you if you're late, right? Uh, uh oh, with the check, I haven't. No, uh, uh, getting the kid. Oh, back. I, I'm there early. I'm I get everywhere early. You shouldn't have pumped any babies out. What well, that you was think? Yeah. you don't know that the women are going to do this to you afterwards. Yeah. That they, they want to be equal, but they they don't want to be equal when it comes to them getting slammed down. Right. She goes, "You're going to pay for my lawyer if we go back." To I'm not paying for your fucking lawyer. Uh. I go, I, well, when are you going to stand on your own? You know, it's the fucking women, they're ruining guys, they're ruining kids' brains. That They're growing up, they fucking hate their father. You know, I'm a fucking pretty nice guy when I'm not drunk and on coke. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes. You know, and, and fucking I'm, doing bumps with the kid. Uh, Here you yeah. go. A couple more years, yeah. right? Yeah. He's yeah. getting there, he's getting there. I was going to get a tattoo of, uh, <laughs> of uh, an Ellis' show for fucking, uh, you know, to get him a Tony Hawk bike, you yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. And now I'm like, fuck it, you know? I'm not fucking doing this. How much fuck. is a Tony Hawk bike? I could have bought it. <laughs> you know what I mean? But it was just a fact of me doing it for my son out of fucking respect. Yeah, he'll be a teenager soon. He'll come to your shows. You, it'll be it'll be through your workout. He'll come out. to my yeah. shows. Yeah. What kind yeah, of kids go to your show? Yeah. Well, I was that always wondering why dad's breath smelled like blue cheese. <laughs> <laughs> I thought he was just a big salad eater. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you still do that? No, I, uh, I retired Oh, you, get, you retired the blue cheese I bit? Had you to. want to explain to the people that have never seen your Bob the I, blue cheese bit? It's, it's classic. classic. At the end, uh, uh, it started in South Carolina with me and Florida. Quarantine. There was some black chick at, at, at the bar, and we were offering her money to eat something out of her ass. So I think we came out with thirty-eight dollars. She looked like uh, uh, Whitney Houston. She was pretty hot. Wow! And uh, mm. and they had the package of, of blue cheese. So Jim, you know, squirted in her ass, and I ate it out of her ass. We gave it a thirty-eight oh, bucks, and then the next night it got onto the radio, and the whole audience had like blue cheese oh, bottles, and then it started from there. How and, many times have you done it? Uh, thousands. No. Oh yeah, I'm telling you, thousands. I, thousands. Is I'm that true, Jimmy? Oh, it's definitely. It was it's definitely certainly true. The development deal. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I can't see my son. Yeah, I'm telling you, Thousand Islands reps in here. <laughs> yeah. Why don't you sell blue cheese after the yeah. show? Now I understand the two hours a week. Bob. I, know. Yeah. That I think, has I think that might have came up in court. Yeah. <laughs> but, I, I think I'm gonna go with Wishbone. They're gonna buy me T-shirts. She, she, she would take videos. She would take videos off of YouTube and that shit and try to get me in trouble. Oh, I mean, it, that on. has nothing to do with fucking yeah, me as a use, person. Use your act. She's, yeah, that, that's the She's worst. A man. Malignant cunt. <laughs> <laughs> Language. Wow. Wow. This is my home. But I guess I won't be seeing my son. Like, I give up. I, I can't do I can't win him over in two hours. So I'm going to wait. How does he until, treat you? What is he just like? Yeah, uh, it's like, I go, I go here. Look, my <laughs> wife got you. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> he fumbles with the gun as yeah. you're shot after buying coke and an apple stand. <laughs> I got to go into this building. Keep the car running. Son. No, but I, it, it's, it's like it two, in the two hours. What the fuck were we just talking about? Yeah, he is with me. yeah how is uh, he with you? Oh, he's great with me. But then, like, I go, uh, we got him a shirt from the Cleveland uh, <laughs> Hall of Fame, Rocket and Hall. I go, let's go there next summer if you want to go there. And then he's thinking, he goes, what about the year after? And I'm like, I give up. You know wow. what I mean? He doesn't even want to do anything with me. It's like yeah. it's like I'm this bad guy that that moved out of the house. It's my fault that your fucking mother was a cunt that I had to move out. You know what I mean? Wow. You didn't so, say that to him, I hope. Uh, no, I wrote it down. Oh, okay. I wanted him. To, How old is he? He's ten. Oh, fuck. but, but it's, oh, it's so hard for me Gone. to win him over. I can't win him over, and I just got to give but up. How I old gotta, was he when you two split? I, I've been out of the house for like uh, three years, and I've lived in the basement for like four before that. So I mean, I tried to stay as long as I can to raise my son, and he loved me when I was there and getting my ass kicked every day living in the basement with fucking cockroaches. But you There's know, roaches down there? No, it was it was a cricket, you know. But <laughs> it was the same thing, yeah, hard to get, yeah. you know. But it, I did this for my son, and now I move out, and I figure, oh, this is gonna he'll just yeah be with my you know my new wife and all of a sudden it's fucking he hates her because she helped him with the homework and she he went home to her and said it and they just turned they're just fucking evil people when a baby comes out of a woman it takes all the happiness out of them <laughs> yeah. it, it yeah. just makes them into a miserable fucking bitch you know what I mean? it, yeah. it sucks all the happiness out of the room of a woman's car we need is more love in the world that fucking cunt <laughs> <laughs> it's the truth man Ask any divorced fucking guy that's suffering and paying all this money for what? For, for a woman that wants fucking rights, that, that wants to, uh, why can't you get a job? Oh, well, I'm used to this lifestyle. Hey, you're driving a better car than me. What the fuck have you done on stage, you stupid bitch? Well, that's always the case. It's like, you know, you pay out money, and it's like, well, what did, what did you do? Yeah. What, I, I was the one going to work, doing this, doing that, and, and I'm the one that's got to pay I'm out a, money. And Richard Pryor just, was on a car no show. It doesn't. He goes, uh, he goes, uh, in my last divorce, I had to give her, thir like, $20 million. You know, bitch ain't told one joke. Carson <laughs> fucking fell off. Yeah. 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 Carson got beat up yeah. that way, too. Oh, sure. yeah. Everybody does. It's, yeah. it's all of a sudden, it's like, you know, well, look, uh, women's right. Everybody the fucking sticking against. Just allow it. Yeah, and the court, that's what the judge. I hope the fucking next time they fucking smash that fucking mallet on it, it comes off and fucking hits him right in the eye. It breaks in half and fucking takes his eye out. Because they're all <laughs> cocksuckers. The judges and the fucking lawyers, they fucking. I said, you know, I've said it. On the show, plenty of times you think well, you go into it with this mindset that it's going to be testimony, and you're going to hear this side of the story and that, mm -hmm. and be able to get everything out there. It's all pre-calculated slide rule. You're just there for fucking, you know, to be to watch yourself get fucked. Exactly, because uh, yeah. they already have it all figured out. Divorce is a formula for them. Yeah. Yeah. You made this much. She was this this many years. This that. Here, get pay, pay her this. And you can't even go like, look, Your Honor, you I like plead. to, you I like to plead, explain right? yeah. how the situation. Explain what? Yeah. No, yeah. sit here. You pay this. Shut the fuck up. Exactly. Get out. And yeah. then she goes, I need a little more than what the formula yeah, is. Yeah, yeah, exactly. A little more. Oh, well, they'll, they'll let her talk and, uh, and exactly get more, because yeah. she can't lose her lifestyle that I no. created for her. Accustomed yeah. to yet your lifestyle that you became accustomed to can go down the shitter. Oh yeah, <laughs> I gotta yeah. chop smaller lines now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm drinking Mr. Thrifty Vodka. <laughs> so my kid can go to college. I'm drinking Gordon's Vodka. Fuck it out. God damn it. Mr. Thrifty Vodka. <laughs> You guys, you guys got a tour to go. Oh, we definitely. got to figure it out. I got to bring my own booze to the yeah. clubs from now on. Yeah. Yeah. Remember we have to sneak yeah. in booze to yeah. clubs because it's fucking what in the nightmare. beginning. Hmm. Oh, fucking women. Chris, you're a funny guy, though, man. Nobody's faster with an ad lib. You fucking kill me. <laughs> I love you. How tall. The vodka like line a, was pretty damn good, though. That was. Yeah, I mean, come on. Let's... Sounds like a real case of frickin' freck. <laughs> oh, put on your bunny suit. I fucking whacked off to that picture. How did you not? My fucking Bulge is very impressive. Oh, <laughs> this stupid bunny suit. Yeah. He's cute. Yeah. He's cute. I, I said, I wish you were here. I should have been blowing somebody at the end of The Shining. <laughs> oh, yeah. Come on, Ma. I don't want to put this exactly. on. Put on your little piggy mask and fucking <laughs> suck someone's dick at the overlook. <laughs> hey, nigga. Cool. <laughs> When, when Nicholson, is, when he goes a nigger cook, he goes, he almost sounds like Paul Lynn. He goes, 
a nigger. <laughs> it almost does a little fucking Charles Nelson Riley there. A nigger. I, I, every time that part comes yeah. on in that movie, oh, it's, it's just like, God damn, Nicholson delivers that line. Oh, it's, it's great. How the fuck did he do it's that? It's the whole idea of the conversation is that there's been a little avocado spill. Oh, yeah. And now I have to quietly talk you into murdering your wife and some of the acts. <laughs> Let me get this little water, sir. <laughs> yeah. 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 Little, it's just, I, and I love the fact that he goes, uh, you, uh, I know you, you're Delbert Grady, you yeah. uh, chopped your wife and your daughters yeah. up and then you blew your brains out. Yeah. Like, like, gotcha. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. I it's don't hot. recall that. Don't recall, yeah. Yeah. I don't recollect that at all. Gonna go to the goose liver pate uh, soiree. <laughs> <laughs> what is he called? A goose The goose and, and duck soiree. Yeah. Soiree. Yeah. <laughs> he's just he kind of a talking to. Let me to. just take my bourbon and avocado <laughs> right back to the bar. <laughs> They're all fucking well dressed in suits and tuxedos. He's dancing through in a fucking like a, a burgundy denim jacket. <laughs> Unshaven. I like, I like how he goes. His son needs a talking to, yeah. perhaps a bit more. Oh, here's it a... goes from talking to him to chopping him up with an axe. Yes. Yeah, yeah. No, Delbert didn't have much gray area. Yeah, not even a spanking. Yeah. We think you should really open the boy up with an axe. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. make him eat the coleslaw first. Yeah. Yeah. Then we'll cut him. Yeah, you got ham hocks, twenty legs of lamb, and coleslaw yeah, yeah. <laughs> with Greek olives. You got your turn. <laughs> you got your turn flakes. <laughs> <laughs> Worst excuse yeah. ever. She's like, how did you know we call him Doc? Yeah. Well, he looks like a doc. He looks yeah. like a doc. What's your favorite <laughs> food? French fries, you honky motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Who's Tony? He's the little boy who comes in my mouth. <laughs> yeah. It was a great movie. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, what the fuck? <laughs> Fucking talk about that movie. It's crazy. Yeah. Fucking I am holding it. By the way, such a shit. I'm not gonna. Oh, really? Is, it gonna oh. be good? is that why oh. your farts have been like noxious? It's, fucking it's one fumes? that starts like you ever shit. Every time you swallow, it passes over the log. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Fucking your farts have been like when you're stuck in that French tunnel where the truck exploded. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> I can't breathe. It's awful. I hope the air is just going over it now. Been, it's yeah, just, yeah. You know? I've yeah. been on some car trips with him where it was horrible. It's just horrendous, oh, right? Skunk yeah. vomit. Oh, better. fucking, the other day, I'm, leave, I'm yeah. leaving the garage, and, oh, yeah. <laughs> and I'm, he does this as, I'm getting, as I'm getting in, I look at and the passenger door, he's got it open, his ass is in there, and he's fanning oh, from his ass <laughs> into my vehicle, <laughs> and then just shuts the door, and lets, now I'm stuck with Jimmy fart smell oh, all the way down fucking 47. Yeah, I cut a nice fucking gasser in his truck, and <laughs> yeah. a little something to take with you. Yeah, here you go. <laughs> <laughs> Memories <Yes>. of me. <laughs> it was an easy pass. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even have to open the window with this easy pass. <laughs> we lost CBS, by the way. They came in to do a little B-roll during all, oh, that, was, <laughs> all that really blue material. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. That's right. <laughs> Instead of B-roll, now it's going to be a feature piece. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> this is what's happening on your radio. Pigs. Uh, did you know what happens even on satellite? Yeah. The most offensive. <laughs> blah, 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 shut up. Man, they picked the perfect time to come in here and do a little B-roll. Holy <laughs> shit. And, and they flee. They didn't even say goodbye. That wasn't I think that was yeah. Yeah. more like end roll. <laughs> <laughs> I have to do an interview with them. Really? Oh, it's just, yeah, CBS.com. Oh, oh, very good. They probably want to know about really good looking people in comedy. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, fuck it. What's next? <laughs> so, Otto, when we hit the road, me yeah. and you. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Come back. I didn't do my cunt in Hernandez. <laughs> what? Are you doing a gig uh, with Valby? Yeah, I am. You and Valby's good, too. Sorry, yeah. Bob, but uh, you're out. Oh, sorry, no, no, I don't have a he's piano. He's too much of a lone wolf. I can't get him to do anything other than... Dude, we tried to get him on that stupid uh, comedy not. tour of ours, and, and he'd rather play a, a shit hole in the, than, a strange, in the middle of nowhere. He's a strange, strange person. There's a lot of strange people in this yeah. business. We love the guy, but Jesus, John, he, I, wake up. He told HBO to fuck themselves when they were just starting out and they needed comedians. HBO, of all people. Really? Yeah. Why? Star, what is it? Starland Ballroom? On February 19th, will be me and John Valby. That's, uh, what, a week from tomorrow? For yeah. reservation, 732-238-5500. Where's the Starland Ballroom? It's a great show. It's, it's, it's a good, it's a good, good it's a rock club. So you should come room. in here and do a little something, too, yeah. next week. Should, fuck yeah, try to get him in here. Maybe that, maybe you that come back with him on Friday. Yeah. 
Bring the coleslaw. We don't do yeah. afternoons okay. anymore. Hey, Lon, hey, Lon, hey. Friday morning. I'll try for Thursday or Friday morning. Yeah, I love them. We love them. I'll tell him he can sleep at my house. That's no problem. Oh, I'm sure that's, that's a big cell. I got a picture <laughs> of him where he's sleeping on the couch <laughs> waiting to go on our yeah. show. Was he really? He just Delby? In that big studio we had, he just uh, slept in the corner until yeah. we were ready for him. I love him. <laughs> I love Valby. <laughs> what I love about him, he'll do a gig on Long Island in the middle of a fucking uh, blizzard and then drive back to Buffalo right after the gig. He, don't <laughs> he never shit. stays. He just he goes don't give a shit. Right back in the car. He gets Ron to really? drive him home in that fucking van that looks like it's going to explode at any moment. Maybe he's yeah, a crazy yeah. OCD or something. You know, He does not fly and he wants home by... Uh, Sunday. But he doesn't fly? Watch, he no, he doesn't fly. He wants to be home for football. He's a big you, you football fan. That, we used to do Buffalo and you would, you, 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 know, you still, you had all that energy from the show and you go, well, why go back to the room? Just drive and then yeah. wait, tomorrow you're not, you don't spend the whole day in the car. That's you true. Know? Yeah, but, yeah. you know, I, I don't know. <laughs> I have a nice picture of John Bell. Hey, that same that. night, February 19th, I'm doing Jimmy C's in Tom's River. Jimmy C's Comedy Club. Is in Tom's River. That's a ten <laughs> fuck. I'm here to plug. Ten o'clock show. And it's all on my. We're gonna do two shows. I'm doing a double header. Yeah, yeah, we're all doing that. Jimmy C's in Tom's River. That's in, in Tom's, Tom's River. River. Yeah. <laughs> and, and if you look yeah. it up on the map, it'll be Tom's River. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Jimmy C, don't get that part. <laughs> <laughs> make him a big star. It's perfect for him. Yeah. Oh, thank Just God. to show you, I'm not a hard. hard man. <laughs> yeah. Then Jimmy C. Comes along yeah. with his gig in Tom's River. <laughs> Chunks. Hey, you get the hell out of here. He All books right. a ventriloquist yeah. just to make me look ridiculous. <laughs> All right. John Peasy comes in with his puppet. <laughs> with his puppet and his white makeup charm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I love how Waltz was like, he, he kind of loosened up. He's like, hey, Tom, you should have told me. Yeah. And as he's talking, it turns into, now get the hell out of here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, wait, yeah. I'm just, Tom's just eating his food. The guy's getting just more pissed off. I know. It started off nice. Hey, Tom, he, he doesn't react you should have told he, me who you were. He just goes, for. the Don likes bad news immediately. Thank you for a pleasant evening. <laughs> yeah. And spitting pierogies on me while you were doing your memorized little speech. Thing. <laughs> and the best part is that Waltz goes, I'm not a hard-hearted man. Yeah. And in the, like, they, they cut it out. But the girl he had fucked upstairs was 12. Yeah. That oh, little Jesus. pony birthday party he was involved in, I don't think they cut that out. Yeah. But that's what he Waltz was doing when Tom Hagen arrives. There's, he's having a party for one of his big stars. He's giving this 12-year-old girl a pony. And then he walks away and he goes, my kraut, my friend. Yeah. And then later in the apartment, you see that girl's mother making her go into a bedroom. Oh, and the girl shit. is crying. So Jesus. you knew he had fucked a 12-year-old girl. Oh, that's oh, in the book. The book tells you yeah, that, too. Yeah. But the movie originally that made was, Waltz a lot more despicable. But that, yeah. that's cut out of the movie. But they did shoot it. And you can see it on the DVD. The extras. I wonder why they cut yeah. it out. Oh, they shot the scene. Oh, yeah, yeah, you could see it. You could see the girl. You oh, could see shit. it. Yeah, so you know he was fucking this little girl. I wonder why they cut that, though. Don't know. I mean, who needs fucking a bunch of boners in the theater? <laughs> <laughs> and the Luca Brazzi fucking baby in the fucking oh, in the furniture the store. They, what he did in that book, they could never film. It was too oh, brutal. Shit. Yeah. 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 Horrible. Wow. Yeah, what a fucking. You never got the picture of how, how brutal Luca Brazzi was. <laughs> yeah. Because he's dispatched almost immediately. In yeah, yeah, yeah. What he a just great is, strangulation. He's a dummy. Yeah. Yeah. And then it gets choked. Yeah. 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 He thinks he's being all wise and yeah. shit. Yeah. You know, hey, I want to work That's for you. That's why he goes, I hope your first child is a masculine child. Because he is the girl who had had a, 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 a daughter and he threw it in the fucking furnace. Yeah, why do you want that? Jesus. I don't need a fucking daughter. He yeah. said he didn't... Luca Brazzi, for fuck's sake. Throw it in the fire. He said he didn't want his offspring. I'm out of wood. Yeah. Truthfully. He didn't want to breed. That was why he did it. He too. didn't want to wow. breed. Yeah, he didn't think his offspring <laughs> well, should be... He was wise. <laughs> yeah. That's a big, big dummy. Yeah. Yeah. He could have put him up for adoption, but fuck it. <laughs> I know. Luca really didn't handle that well. Yeah. <laughs> Apparently he was pro-life. Uh, no yeah. abortion. Yeah. He didn't believe yeah. in abortion. Yeah. 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 A little fucking little white uh, girl is easy to get rid of, you know. Yeah, yeah. yeah God. <laughs> it's, it's called the uh, Angelina and Brad or something. Don't encourage him. Don't encourage him. <laughs> Can I get some water in here? Yeah, what the I know. Fuck? Where's our staff? Where's E Rock? Yeah. Most of them didn't make it in today. How about some water for our guests? Water for the guests, though. That was, no, that was a real mustache? That stupid pig. No, no. <laughs> no, no, no come on. Wow, you look we got, nuts. <laughs> he does. Well, those are birthday uh, 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 what announcements on local TV. Yeah, it's yeah, a whole thing the fans are doing. It's, it's classic. Crazy with him. He looks like the Greek guy doing the cold slow with yeah, the mustache. Yeah, right there. <laughs> <laughs> People speculate that. You get the garbage pail and mix, mix, no deeper. Hit the, but must touch bottom yeah. of pail. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
Here comes your water. Kenny's yes, bringing it in. Yeah. Yes, can kill you. Kenny is, uh... Kenny is... I never thought you guys would get thirsty. He's gingerly walking the water. <laughs> yeah, yeah, look at him. You <laughs> don't want to shake it up. <laughs> yeah. The fuck? Hello, Kenny. How are you today? Don't hit me with a flashlight or a slapper. <laughs> <laughs> he was teaching us to slap all Kenny, these techniques. All and these, all these come on, everybody. I was, we were talking about weapons, and I go, is this, le is this legal? And he goes, no. And I'm like, I ordered it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you can get it on the web. Yeah. I mean, yeah, it, it should be, be legal, legal if it's on the web, right? <laughs> right? Uh, what is it, an old 50s No, brass sap? knuckles. Yeah. Brass, brass knuckles. knuckles. Oh, no, it's illegal, a... I found out. Yeah, Kenny, are, brass the knuckles. are the brass knuckles illegal, what Kenny? Are they, what are they called uh, 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 in law enforcement? Why can't you have them? Brass knuckles. No, no, they are an unlawful weapon. Yeah? Yeah. Why is that? Because what other purpose could it have other than shattering every bone in someone's <laughs> face? It's for protection. Yeah. Yeah. What if you're walking down the street and a couple... It's good for mixing coffee. <laughs> you put five yeah. on each hand and mix them very good. Yeah, it break up <laughs> cabbage very good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cabbage you, don't pay in time, you hit the blanket. You punch first. Punch. punch, very good, you punch. Make a tenderized fish, been here a week. Very good. Yeah. <laughs> Kenny, give us uh, one in my day. I love Kenny's in oh, my yeah. day stories. Ah, the old You got one in the my day? With the, the on slap the job. Stick. Yeah. That well, slapstick thing? That thing a flat foot back in the old I, days. Uh, hypothetically. Hypothetically. Yeah. 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 You of did course. a uh, honeymoon. Cover up your face, Rob. What do you tell me to cover every in his stomach? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <In> a slapper? <laughs> a slapper. Yeah, I've heard. Yeah. Okay, yeah. you've heard. That certain guys would carry a slapper. Yeah. It's like a blackjack, but it's only flat. You know? Blackjack. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's Beating, a, please. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's a leather strap with a lead ball at the end. Nice. Oh, right. shit. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's good That's to tune people. Pull up. <laughs> would it really not? Would it really hurt most oh, suspects? Oh what are you my kidding? god! I'm saying, could you whack somebody? In the, could a person whack somebody in the head with that thing and they're still fighting? No. No. I, I've in heard guys <laughs> with a blackjack. All you have to do is like this, and you shatter the guy's entire kneecap just by doing that yeah. much uh, yeah. force. You just I yeah. touch, touch yeah. him with that thing. The whole kneecap. It's like, is it the handle almost like spring loaded to it? Yeah. Yes, it's... there are spring loaded ones. Yeah, yeah, Those yeah, are called Texan. Texas slap them. Oh. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> okay. You've heard. So, so you've, you've heard. You've that heard. Yeah, like one been... time there was a call and uh, it, it, it was a, a burglary to a house. Yeah. And the cops pulled up and they found these two guys in the backyard of a house. But really, they were just walking home. They were all fucked up, drunk, coked up, and they went to piss <laughs> in the guy's yeah. backyard. Yeah. You know, oh, they weren't breaking oh, in. They were shit. pissing. Yeah, oh. but pissing. And, and the cops got startled by him, so they threw him up against the, the car, and then the, the, those guys got a little lippy. So oh, the shit. one guy, one cop had a mag light, and the other cop had a slapper. Oh. <laughs> and uh, they, they were just, like, trying to get them to comply. Oh. Whatever and happened, and can you get out of the yard, please? Yeah. <laughs> Put your dick away. Yeah. <laughs> and, and and the one cop that had the slapper might have hit that guy so many times he that he actually busted the seams of the leather strap. No way. And had to take the slapper to a shoemaker uh, to get it stitched up. I was just looking at it, and he ran into my slapper. <laughs> yeah. Fifteen times. And then, you know, and then you know, like, diligently, how you ask questions after you give him a beating. <laughs> Right? Because the guy got hit so many times, he just gave up. He just didn't want to get hit no more. Yeah, yeah. Wow. And then, like, we found out it was like an innocent thing. Like, they were just oh. walking home from uh, a party. Sure, we're, we're, the, we're the landscapers. Well, found no, they're out. here to cut the yeah. lawn. You just beat the yeah. fuck out of us. Yeah. Yeah. Now, mow my lawn, you yeah, so. <laughs> so then, like, the cops were you nice broke enough. You my slapper. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> The cops were nice enough to, like, drive the, the, the kids home. <laughs> the kids. You should have oh, seen his nice. pencil yeah. and tin cup go flying. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but then, like, the, I heard that the one cop was, like, uh, like, really scared because, like, the kid got hit so many times in the head. Oh, and he yeah. was like all fucked up. What if he like went home and went to sleep and never woke up again? Yeah, you know. That, so I heard that, that cop would be a was like short bereavement around your precinct. Yeah. <laughs> which, which guy in that story aren't you? <laughs> I think he's a guy I knew. Uh, I, <laughs> serial number on the slapper is. <laughs> this, is uh, this is hypothetically. I, I got ethics and integrity. <laughs> yeah. Thank uh, God he had dropped the small caliber weapon <laughs> before we hit him. <laughs> 
<laughs> that was untraceable. Yeah. I don't believe in street justice. A chase justice. ensued. Don't <laughs> 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 doesn't do street that. justice, right? Not street yeah. justice. They're not no. saying ensued and vehicle. Yeah. Yeah. Vehicle. Yeah. 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 And, and the, the perpetrators, you know, they always fell up the steps going oh, yeah, into yeah. the precinct. Yeah. <laughs> they did. Very clumsy perps. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. How did yeah. that happen? Oh, it was poor design. And you, were you guys would probably hold on to them to try to help them up the stairs, yeah. and they would always fall down. They exactly. never, they never shovel those fucking things. No, <laughs> they, no, they never no, iced, they iced them. Cops are there to protect and serve. Yes. So Walking Tall was a musical comedy. Had a bone of watching it. Yeah. It's like My Fair Lady. <laughs> yeah. You cannot get uh, old old school police work like that uh, yeah. anymore. Oh mm -hmm. my God. Rod Rodney King ruined the face of police work. <laughs> They're all scared shitless now. Of not only losing their jobs, but going to jail. Now you're a cop in jail. You don't. I was just tuning some oh, guy man. up with my slapper. Because everybody's got phones now. And there's yeah. Ca yeah, there's cameras everywhere. Now. That's what it is. You can't you can't he beat up people everything. like that anymore. They didn't have cameras in your day, right, Kenny? No. Well, thank God I'd be in the penitentiary right now. <laughs> yeah. Allegedly they had oh, Think of how much ass you'd get though. The yeah. big Kenny just yeah. fucking new fish. Kenny's a big bottom. <laughs> Believe me, I'd, I'd be the slut of the. <laughs> <laughs> I brought my slapper. The C block slut. Is yeah. That you? Oh yeah. They all use their black slappers on his face. <laughs> I couldn't get enough of it. <laughs> the town pump. <laughs> He'd have mushroom prints on his cheeks. <laughs> hey, we got JD black in Texas. Slapper. This is very strange. JD, go ahead. <laughs> yeah, I'm uh, I'm retired now, but uh. We had an old boy that ran from us up this hill, and he really pissed us off. So the day this thing happened, we're taking back the car. He kept on falling into trees <laughs> and uh, running into trees. And we took him in front of the master. And she said, what the hell happened to him? I said, I don't know. I guess he just he kept on falling down, down that whole hill, kept on hitting trees. And that's what he's got all the cuts and stuff on him for. I hope wow. the tree's all right. Was it Sonny Bono? Yeah. <laughs> what's that fucking? What's he talking about? Trees? Well, he uh, the perp fell into random. Yeah, he fell a bunch of times. He, he yeah. caught a beating. <laughs> no, he fell into the perpetrator <laughs> fell a bunch of times. Yeah. A chase <laughs> ensued, wherein me and my partner, <laughs> it was two Caucasians and a white guy. <laughs> <laughs> oh uh, yeah. All right. Well, you're gonna get this phone call, and and I think we should. Dan in Denver. Dan. Hello, Opie. Hey, Kenny, it's motherfuckers like you that want us to put hollow points in every fucking motherfucker like you and your stupid fucking bully brother. You fucking cocksucker. Well, he was uh, saying hypothetically. <laughs> Kenny was saying hypoth... He's gone. You scale. Yeah, what, what does he mean? Kenny was saying hypothetically. He sounds like he doesn't like police. Yeah. He doesn't like police. He was fucking justifying uh, shooting a cop yeah, at hollow no. points because of your hollow little point. stories. Yeah. yeah. That guy's a white supremacist, you can tell. Yeah. <laughs> Kenny's yeah. unflappable. You're not going to upset Isn't him with a no. phone call. Yes, no. Unless you're pleasant to him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that throws him. He hasn't had to handle it. Yeah. Yeah. God damn. All right. That's I don't think it's going to be better than that. Um, God damn Kenny fucking, and his I love, I love old Kenny's stories. stories. So, I just picture like the fifties. Oh man! You know the old revolvers and snub nose yes. revolvers. Yeah. I mean, you ain't taking me, copper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. McClus <laughs> McCluskey had Kenny transferred <laughs> out of his precinct. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he doesn't handle himself well. Yeah. <laughs> Too cranky. You were asking about shotguns yeah. before. What kind of shotgun? Like, uh, what you know? How do you? You can't shoot a deer with a shotgun, can yeah. you? You know, and uh, like no, because there would be fucking holes. Well, you know, you shoot like. How can you miss a deer with a shotgun with the pellets? Really, yeah. there's no fucking way. And Kenny, what kind of bullets were you saying that are in there? They're a slug. Yes. Can, in Jersey, you only use right. a slug. So you can't use the spray and just right, fucking... no buckshot. Who wants to shoot a little fat animal? You know what you could do uh, though with buckshot no, uh, no. rounds. Yeah. You take right around the brass on the bottom. You take a pocket knife and you cut the the plastic of the shotgun, and then you load the shell in there. Blam. The whole fucking thing comes out of the barrel. Plastic and all. It's like a howitzer. Oh. It's full of shot. The wadding keeps the fucking uh, shot in there. And the plastic, full of shot, goes flying like a fucking rocket ship. Wow. Oh, it puts giant holes in things. Really? Yeah. It's let's a lot see, of fun. Let's say hi to Joe in Florida. Joe? <laughs> How do you do, Joe? Hello, Joe. What's up, boys? Hey. Hey, Kenny, did you ever screen test anybody in the back of your car? 
Uh, you mean with the the divider? <laughs> no, no screen <laughs> test. <laughs> What's a screen test? Oh, yes. I, just, I, don't, I don't know. I've heard. You've heard, right? Uh, uh, there was a term it used to be called waffling. You know, <laughs> the the the. the <laughs> <laughs> you know the grating that separates the front seat from the back seat. Yeah. If if somebody was in the back seat and they got a little lippy. Oh Waffle. God! All these retired Waffle. murderous Waffle. cops are all falling. <laughs> yeah, you, 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 you speed up and then jam on the brakes and then they, you know, they're handcuffed in the back so they go oh, face shit. first <laughs> into the divider and they have the waffle prints on them. <laughs> Wow. Would that stop somebody, you think, from being lippy? Yeah, yeah. Probably. <laughs> I, I wouldn't know. No, no, you just heard it. Uh, yeah. You just heard this. Yeah. Hey, uh, I've seen it in the movies. Like, Stephen S. from Bayshore is reminding us of the story you told about your footprint. Do you remember that story? Yeah, it was probably something I told him personally. Oh, uh. <laughs> oh okay. Yeah. And it was probably about some other officer. Yeah. It was unscrupulous. Yeah. yeah. Have yes. you heard? They couldn't fuck with your pension at this point, right? Even if you like you came in like with like fucking photos of you stomping on the <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Seven years is the statute of limitations for official misconduct. Oh, okay. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, these are just stories. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, it's, it's movies. I saw them in the movies. Yeah, yeah. movies, movies. Are, yeah. You, are you still able to park in Manhattan with a with your police uh, identification? No, you can't? no, no, really? no. That's one thing they really cracked down on. That would be that, that was great when you had that perk, right? Yeah, you could park anywhere and just go get dinner and fucking not pay for a lot and shit. That's great. <laughs> not pay yeah, no, oh, it was a good. It was good. For nice these perk. Guys. It's that a nice, a nice perk. perk on their salary. That every little bit helps, man. You guys didn't get paid enough. No, you're right, Otto. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I think okay. we, uh, we're we going to start uh, with the plugs. Now, good. Otto, you're coming back next week with Valby. Let's do this. I I'm going to get in touch with his people. And get him in here. It's been, I think it's been a couple of years now. Yeah, that would be amazing. He may go to hell, yeah. but he's going to go play in the piano. <laughs> <laughs> do we have a piano here so it makes it easy for we him? We might. You can get an organ, one of them organs. Yeah, we can probably figure something out. One of the greatest bits ever when he went into that goddamn store. Yeah, uh, Steinway. Have Street, we played yeah. that in a while? If we haven't, played that it after the great. break. When we first went to XM. Holy shit. He went in there and showed to, how great to, he was on the piano. To, to purchase a, a three dummies and a puppet, go to laugh.com. That's me and Valby yeah. on a DVD that we did together. Oh. So you're going to be doing the Starland Ballroom with John Valby next Friday, yeah. which is February 19th at 7.30. Yep. Uh, it's a great show, man. Otto and Valby. Starland you, you, Ballroom. You can go to StarlandBallroom.com. That's, That's the easiest solid. way. Okay. Levy, yeah. what gig? Uh, this week I'll be at the Ramada Inn, Levittown, PA, and then Nick's uh, Comedy Stop in Boston at the end of the month, the last weekend. I have one plug. Uh, 18, 19, 20, I'll be in uh, San Francisco Cobbs oh, three nights that's there. A cool next place. weekend. Next, Not this weekend, but next yeah, weekend. Next yeah. Thursday, I Friday, love Saturday, fucking San Francisco, so. man. All right. So, right. James, I'll plug your date next next week when I come in, you mm. greedy fuck. Yeah, I don't come, come back. Bob will be coming back. And also, we'll be He's filling in for Pharrell all week uh, with Miserable Men oh, starting yeah. Sunday all the oh, way through. You didn't say Pharrell. Well, you, well, you guys are mad at him no, again? I'm all right. I'm getting mad. But then he's never said, I'm telling you, he there likes you be, guys. There might be someone in the room that's still holding a grudge. Really? I'm getting mad. I gotta fuck go piece him. him. Fuck him. Yeah. Anthony <laughs> might be holding a grudge, <laughs> to be honest with you. Fuck Pharrell and his asshole. No, he, he's never said anything bad. He always said... Oh, please. The guy did nothing but bash us and fucking uh, uh, other people that didn't like us at the time. He's talking to them like we're fucking assholes. Fuck him, two-faced shithead. I can't, I can't fucking stand him. Really can't. Why? Why? What are you saying? Yeah, say it fast and in a wacky voice and people will laugh. So you like know, I said, we'll be there zero, from 8 to 12 on Monday to Friday. Zero we'll suck with Bob. Yeah, we'll we'll fucking you know, asshole. Even I don't left the room. You're yeah. one of those rare guys oh, that man. are doing like both camps, and this is what you got to <laughs> deal with. You got to deal with this shit. Bob, 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 <laughs> the weird thing is, we there's a lot of the players from both camps that get along with each Mad other. Dog yeah, there's still some problems. Mad Dog Russo there's is a professional problems. when it comes to sports broadcasting. Fucking Pharrell's a hack. I dig Pharrell he's a uh, over hack. him. I totally. Fuck Pharrell, a, he's a fucking cock sucking hack. Uh, I don't know. I love Fuck him. him. You don't Fuck have to him. defend him. No, I love him. I'm telling you, he'll, I, he'll I love his right. style. Yeah, I love him. Literally, right literally, literally, do you love him? <laughs> <laughs> he's so mad. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna get the slapper. It was. It, Don't make me get my slapper. <laughs> it was. It wasn't cool what he did. You know. I mean, there's a lot of guys that feel like to get on 
in Howard's graces, you got to trash us. And some people, they they know they don't have to do that. Like he's I, I never heard guy. Bob Levy trashing us. He's one guy. Fourteen that never I can't trashed us, and, and he does no shows. reason to trash but anybody. But there's some people I that think, really you know? feel they have to do that to get in his good graces, here's and we my, don't understand that. Here's my line. Here's like my fucking rationalization of 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 this situation. Yeah. I don't care if somebody is a good soldier for a loyal uh, friendship or or radio show or, or whatever. Radio show, whatever. Right. If you're on a, a certain radio show and you're a good soldier and loyal for them and fuck over us or whatever, I I really can't hold a grudge. I'll fucking pound you and say you're an asshole and shit mm -hmm. like that. But I won't hold a grudge or anything after the fact. Uh, he was a guy though that just he had, in my opinion. He has no fucking loyalty to anyone but his drunk ass self. He's a fucking two faced backstabbing asshole, and he was just using a situation to try to uh, uh, advance himself at the expense of people that did nothing but help him out, especially at NEW when they want to throw his fucking drunk, drugged out ass out of that fucking place. And we actually went to management and and stopped that from happening. And then he goes on another show and fucking badmouths us. Take a dick. Take a dick. He's kind of I don't want to fucking Bob, even deal with him sponsored by Teddy Bear. <laughs> that, yeah. Oh, Vermont, no. Vermont Teddy Bear. He's, he's kind of right. Uh, he's kinda, I, see, he's I, don't, right I don't get involved with he's that shit because right I don't, you know what of I mean? Of course. Don't worry about comics. Bob. You're all right. I'm all, <laughs> you're all right. Don't worry we about it. Uh, no, you're fine. We know where you stand. Well, you're fine. And now everyone's saying, fuck Bob Levy. So you're you're all right. They go to me and I don't talk. Thanks. No, we're cool with Bob Levy. We're cool with Bob Levy does not get that tour. Make him a Big star. And, uh, <laughs> Take away his easy pass. <laughs> I'm glad I came in. My old junky head was telling me what I happened? got an excuse to not come in because of the snow. Yeah. But it's like, yeah, my girlfriend, Trish, she's like, she goes, you're an asshole if you don't go. <laughs> you're an hey, asshole. I mean, you gotta you guys go. Are, like, you're the only somewhere. legitimate you know? things in show business where I'm accepted. And, not we, not like a and we love TV you. Guy. It's just been yeah. weird getting in lately, and I apologize. No, it's, cool. it's like everybody is uh, trying to get time on the show, which is flattering. And it's like totally. every time you want to come in, it's like we already have a full house. It's yeah. not fair to you that you drive a little way up and maybe not get a lot Certainly. of air time. So. Nah, but you came in today and you fucking asshole. just gave us a, an amazing hour and hopefully you'll yeah. come back uh, with Valby well, next I week, alright? So be happy. Good memories and you're going to be in oh, Tom's yeah. River. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Tom's River and Tom's River. It's, it's, yeah. Yeah. It's, 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 I think it's, it's, it's located in, Tom, in Tom, the city of Tom's River. Great club. Jimmy C's Tom's River, when's that? The same night as Valby. Yeah, that's 10 o'clock show. 732-473-1183. Maybe I could help. You're out, Tom's River. <laughs> I, mean, I, was, I stepped on yeah. his number. I apologize. Jim, seven yeah. seven three two four seven three eleven eighty three. I you, stepped on that. You missed the Pharrell rant. <laughs> oh, I, I actually I, I had to piss nah, so badly. Out, you missed the Pharrell nah, rant. Nothing, was good. nothing new. Pharrell badmouth me. Uh, I don't. Uh, I don't know if he has since, but in, in that one, he, he trashed. I've remember, never heard uh, anything yeah, since the beginning. Uh, Scott Pharrell. But it was a long time ago. Yeah, right. I don't know why he did it. I, I just uh, I mentioned that we were filling in for him next yeah, week, yeah. and uh, uh, might have been a, a bit yeah, of a mistake. Good. on Bob <laughs> <laughs> Then the show, then the show will be fucking much better. I'm sure. There's you guys, and then there's everyone else. I don't, you don't oh see. shit! Yeah, I never even fucking heard of that guy. Oh, you're not gonna be able to do Howard now because you said. Isn't that what we used to wash our hands with after a fucking virus? Pharrell. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Antibacterial Pharrell. Touched that disgusting listeners. Wasn't that crazy? horrible yeah. doing the signings and shaking <laughs> the sweaty fucking oh. hands? Especially after those oh. August shows at the P. Oh, <laughs> they were all just wet and fucking. Yeah. Oh, and half those motherfuckers are wiping their ass yeah, just, yeah. To, just oh, to leave a little something on our hands. Like they're a, giving us stink fingers. Know, yeah, we're not stupid. They got a good story to tell them. On purpose. Dude, watch, I'll shake his fucking hand. Watch, watch him really grab my ball sack. I'm sure not rub my teeth for a while. I love your show. I love the show. I've been making coleslaw all fucking day. Watch this. <laughs> Remember that coleslaw the next time you go to a uh, fucking I bank. never, I don't eat the coleslaw. Uh, the no. They bring over those pickles and the coleslaw and the yeah. bread that no one yeah. eats. It's they bring cool. it in the back and, and you never fucking somebody comes back out. directly and, on it, yeah. but there's a little sputum on there. Oh, yeah, because no it one. is in the cup and it's away from it. It's like they put it on the table and it's like away and you know if you don't touch it, they're definitely They're taking not that back. fucking Bobby. throwing that shit no. out. No Levy, you're not funny anymore now that we know you're on Scott Farrell's side. Oh, Jesus. But I will be at next comedy Stop at the end of the month. Yeah, <laughs> that's good. Get there and you got it at revbobblevy.com. Did, did you do Let's get good out of here. or did you do really good? <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling bad. you, the owner was laughing. <laughs> uh, I, all right, I have a little fun. Those up. are all Levyisms. Yeah. Bob is fucking true. Let's fucking nuts. get out of here, Travis. Hit it, man.